Did you miss your deadline to renew your Medicaid coverage? You can still send your completed annual review form to Healthy Connections Medicaid. You may be assigned to another health plan, but you can ask to come back to First Choice within 60 days of renewed Medicaid eligibility. It's your family. It's your choice. First Choice is the right choice. Renew and choose us. Visit selecthealthofsc.com slash renew to learn more. What is going on, everybody? Welcome to a mid-size sedan beer review with your pals, Alan and Rapid Dave. I'm Alan. I'm Rapid Dave. How you doing, buddy? I like that uh, mid-size sedan call. I think that's awesome. Yeah. I think that's something it's, we're going to keep. A- it's not like a long-form type thing, like a full-pledged episode, but it's not a quick beer review. It's it's the mid-size, right? It's the, what would you call this? Like the Ford Taurus of beer reviews? That's full size, damn near. I think. No? Full size? You think so? I think so. Uh, so I don't know, man. I I didn't want to do a quick beer review on this one just because we're in and out in thirty or in about three minutes, right? Uh, this beer was hand delivered by a hand. good pal of ours, and he wanted. He's been waiting for us to review it, and we're finally getting around to do it. I would say at this point in time, a mediocre friend, <laughs> because he owes us a one chip that he has not uh, cashed in on. And has just said, well, you guys can't hold me accountable for it. Like, what's up, bro? And we're talking um, about you, TJ. TJ Burns. We're calling <laughs> you out. Um, we're drinking this, what he says is his favorite beer, which kind of sucks because it's a collab. So once this is gone, it's gone. It's not going to be available year round. But it's uh, from Denton County Brewing and No Label Brewing. A uh, long time coming, beer liner wise. It's a a mango orange uh, beer liner. It's our collaboration with no label brewing, super refreshing brew with strong notes of mango and orange. This traditional sour is the perfect beverage to relax in this Texas heat. 5.1% alcohol by volume average score of 3.92. Excuse me. Out of 42 ratings. Hmm. I I don't get people that drink sours on the regular. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> let me go ahead and take a picture of this because you know i got to uh, I, don't, I don't i just don't get it it is super citrusy um it slightly sour nothing too crazy but um i like the can art i like the sticker the what they got going on there cool. yeah. Yeah. And, and no labels one of those breweries that i want to go and visit like i loved everything that they were they were doing a ton of stuff during covid like drive through pick up beer to go um and I wanted a lot of it, but I also like if I'm going to drive all the way out there because this is almost Houston, right? Um, I want to be able to stay and hang out. Mm-hmm. So I never went and hit them up during beer to go during COVID because if I'm going to drive out there, I want to go and I want I want the full experience. I want to sit down in their tap room, have a beer or two. Maybe I think I don't know if they have food or not, but hopefully they have a little bit of food so I can drink a little bit more, you know, Um and enjoy myself out there because everything that I see is it looks like a really cool spot, but also Denton County brewing. I've been starting to hear a lot more about them here as of late. Um, and I hear it's a pretty cool little spot. TJ has been going out there. He, he really enjoys it. Um, so those are two breweries that are on my list of breweries. I want to go and visit. Nice. Uh, low, uh, again, no label is out of Katy, Texas, uh, 5351 first street. Uh, Obviously, they have a website and everything like that. You can check out all their kind of stuff. They have the calendar, their beers, their contact, their tap room, everything they got going on in there. And then Denton County Brewing, again, Denton. It's uh, 200 East McKinney Street, Denton, Texas. You know, you can check out all the beers and stuff that they have and their offerings on their website as well. Both these are on, uh, like, you know, socials for, like, Facebook and whatnot. But, uh, yeah, I think I've been to Denton County Brewing. I think it's, it, it's not the place you got kicked out of, right? No, nah, that was a bar. Okay. okay. <laughs> I got to check with you. Like, there's no, you never know for sure with you, right? Like, it's always kind of like in the air. Like, was this the place you got kicked out of? Wasn't it? I don't know, man. It's so uh, amazing. You, you've been kicked out of places from here to Las Vegas. So. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know what's wrong with me. <laughs> I, don't, I don't get, and like, that's a crazy thing. Like, if, if you were to just to ask the average viewer of the show or person that we know, Who's been kicked out, been kicked out of more places, me or you. And 
to a T to everybody, to a man, they're all going to say Allen, which is not true. I've been kicked out of one place in my entire life. One. <laughs> and I mean, I kind of deserve that. I threw up all over the hallway. Oh, um, God. <laughs> I, this was back at this was back in my younger days when I couldn't chug a beer. Like if I chugged a beer, I threw it up back in the day. Like right. I just couldn't I couldn't handle the, the bubble, the carbonation. It's just the way it was. And we, we were up in Champaign, Illinois, visiting the knob um after he moved up there and was there with a few buddies. He's like, hey, let's chug this beer. I'm like, I can't. He's like, No, you can do it. Chugged it. I'm walking to the bathroom, like, I'm not gonna make it. I'm not gonna make it. And like I, I'm heading to the bathroom and I was going to make it, but then the knob comes in at me like this and pretends like he's going to punch me in the gut and it didn't punch me in the gut, but like just tapped my stomach. And that was all it took. And I just projectile. I threw up all over the place. And one, one of the uh, guys that worked there saw it. He's like, man, you got to go. You're out. I was like, hold on, man, let me go to the bathroom and then I'll be out. And he's like, all right, hurry up. And I'm like, all right, I will, man. And I went in the bathroom and I went and I peed and cleaned up a little bit and finished my beer and then as I'm walking out, the guy's like, come on, man. You should already been on here already. Let's go. I was like, dude, I'm, I'm walking out the door. I'm not fighting you on it. I, I'm going. And he's just talking. He's just talking trash in my ear the whole time. And like, as we start to get towards the door, he's like, yeah, if you weren't such a little bitch, you wouldn't have, you wouldn't have thrown up and blah, blah, blah. And I just stopped. I was like, you know what? I just turned to look at him. I go, you know what, man? Have fun cleaning up my puke. And oh, turned and just walked out. Like, Surprised you didn't ask to talk to the manager or something like that. No, 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 no. Yeah. And you, you, that's a, a, a fable. You've made that story up. It's not. It's really it not. Is. It is. It's really not. The last time I asked to speak to a manager, I got to say is when I went to this restaurant and they screwed up my burger three times. And I didn't ask for a manager until after the third time they screwed it up. And I was like, look, can, can I just talk to a manager? Because you How can't get my a burger for you. It's just meat, cheese and bun. Exactly. But they kept throwing all this extra stuff on it. I'm like, I don't, I don't want this on there, man. I they just probably want don't believe that somebody wants and, this a plain shit burger. <laughs> and the crazy thing is, like, the server's like, oh, man, I know, I understand. I don't know why they screwed it up. Why didn't you check it before you brought it out, bro? Like, you know this is how I ordered it. The first time, okay, I'll give you the first time, right? I've gone play. You, we've all gone places. They messed up your food the first time. And you say, hey, FYI, man, I, I, I didn't want this. I didn't want that. They take it back, they fix your food, they bring it back, and it's always right the second time. But he brings it back the second time, and it's not even close. I'm like, man, it's, oh, man, I'm sorry. <laughs> like, you should check it before you bring it out. You know. And so you take it back, and then you bring it back a third time wrong. And I'm like, dude, oh, man, I'm so sorry. I, did, I, I thought they did it right this time. You did? Because it, it's got, like, tomatoes and onions hanging out all over the sides like the tomatoes and onions are bigger than the burger bro like <laughs> a lot of bro talk going on like i don't i don't get it I'm like can i just can i just talk to your manager man like just it's just you? meanwhile everyone else has gotten their food and they've all ate like everyone's just waiting on me at this point like i, I don't i don't get it it's it's so they put stuff on the burger you can't just take lettuce off are you allergic if, to like if, lettuce? If, if it was lettuce, I'd eat it. I, I'll have lettuce on my burger. But right? like, so the onion, you can't take an onion slice no, off. No, no, that that onion taste is there, bro. Like, you can't just peel. It's it's like if you go to Chick Fil A and you order it without the pickle. But they put the pickle on there. Once the pickle's on there, do you, you're you're tasting pickle. You can't pull the pickle taste off of it. I mean, a lot of burgers have onions already in the meat. So you already have an onion. You already have an it's in there. Oh no, no, no. God, you weirdo. Weird. Oh, Jesus. I don't you and you and restaurant talk or food talk is just the biggest beating of my life. Uh, you want to talk to the Rangers? I'd rather talk about the Rangers. Dude, I would love to talk about the Rangers and how much they suck. Oh they, terrible. How are you holding up? Not great. Uh today they gave up like 47 runs. Um, and all in relief pitching, I think. You know, you're sitting there staring at this like uh, just a well, they gave up wreck. thirteen runs. Yeah, and it came in like the sixth inning. You know, they were actually they had the lead, and so you're watching them play, and you're like, okay, you know, whatever. And then you realize they're about to get to the bullpen, and you're just like, I'm done, I'm done. So here's the current standings right now. 
The Mariners are still in first place. They're actually tied with the Astros, but they have the kicker. So Mariners 77 and 60. Uh, they're right now. They're tied with the Astros. Uh, Astros are 78 and 61. Rangers are at one game back. That's it. So they're not like crazy out of it or whatever. And I've been posing this question to other Ranger fans and uh, people who watch baseball. You know, do you even want your team to make the playoffs? Because they can't handle it. They're, they've I'm changed kidding. in the last two months. They've changed. Like they just don't have the pitching. But here's the thing. Yes, you want your it, it, in baseball. Yes, you want your team to make the playoffs, especially if you're close, because it, it's not like you're going to benefit. It's not like it's the NFL, right? Where or or even the NBA, where you're going to have a a draft pick who you're going to draft someone who's going to come in and help you the next year. You're going to draft someone, and they may or may not help you out in the next three to five years, right? It's MLB drafting is completely different the, than a lot of other leagues. If this was NFL, I'd be like, yeah, no, we suck. Let's not make the playoffs so we can have a higher draft pick Just and tank. we can help our team out, right? Yeah. But it, it's it's not that in, in MLB. So you want to go ahead and you want to make the playoffs because that's going to help you sign other players. That's going to help you re-sign players. That's going to give your current players some playoff experience. Even if you go out there and you get your butt whooped, you're still getting that experience. And it's not costing you anything. It's not like, you know, in the NFL, you can go from having a top 20 pick to a bottom of the first round pick, you know, a 30 pick. And the difference in player there can be a decent amount. Mm -hmm. So I just, you know, MLB, you want that experience. Not only that, but you, you get to bring guys up. You get to have a few players on your, your playoff roster that, typically wouldn't get that experience get your guys that experience reload here's the, you ran into a lot of injuries towards the end of the year right yeah, yeah. um all year really but the you guys, went down like in down may down. Or april, we, april so i don't know man but you you did make some moves you added some players you got scherzer and you have him for another year and he's been good like scherzer's been a good pitcher it's you know, the bullpen. A couple, it, it, it's the bullpen your bullpen's trash so it, you can take and you can say, hey, look, our bullpen was trash, but we still made the playoffs. You're the number one bullpen free agent. Let me bring you in and you can help me fix this problem. And had we had you on our team last year, we would have been a lot better. We, mm -hmm. won, we would have won a lot more games. We would have went deep in the playoffs. Hell, we might have won the whole World Series last year if we had you. But if you can show players that, hey, I'm, I'm a couple pieces away. Because you can honestly look at the Rangers and be like, hey, they're three bullpen pitchers away, right? Yeah. Yeah. You could be three players away because you got everything else. Now, you also do have, like, again, Josh Young, he's been out for a little while. He might be coming back soon. Um, Jonah Heim just got cleared the bat from the other side right-handed now. So now he can go back to bat and left and right. So that definitely helps. Co Corey Seager has missed some time this year. That's really hurt. Um, but – yeah, he's gonna win something. Like uh, he's been on fire since he got back. The dude's just slugging. Like he's course, been on fire all year. Yeah. Like that's just all there is. He's been. If it wasn't for all the time he's missed, he would definitely be one of. He would be probably AL MVP. Like yeah, I think it's a he had a fractured thumb or some crap like that. But yeah, it was something that knocked him out for like a month. And but he has been absolute lights out, gas. I mean, he's hitting everything. It's great in the field. I mean, he's one of he's MVP of the team. I mean, as, as much as Simeon has like looked really good this year, they're a great one-two punch right at the top of the lineup. Oh, um, and so yeah, like Simeon scores a lot of runs it's because he gets on base a lot, and then Seeger scores him. Yeah. And then you end again, you ask Josh Young, who who's had a great year this year. Jonah Himes had a great year this year. Um, it just it, there's a lot of you, you've had a lot of bad luck. You guys were so good towards the beginning of the season and catching all the breaks. You just haven't caught any of the breaks the second half of the season. Oh yeah, really. like, all that look burnt up here lately. It's just it's all burnt up, and and you're running against a buzzsaw in Seattle. Although they did lose to the Reds today, um, but you've got a what a three game set that just started today with the Astros. Mm -hmm. They got two more games, and then I believe it's the Blue Jays. It's the Blue Jays later this week, and then you got. Uh, Seattle. I think you got to go to Seattle. 
which it, it, playing on the road is is going to hurt you guys. You know, yeah. that's you guys are just awful on the road. Actually, so you got Houston, then you got Oakland. You got a three game set with Oakland, but yeah. then you go to Toronto for four games, and yeah. you guys are just bad on the road. Currently on the road, we're sub 500. So that's yeah. the that, that's an issue. And it, it was a handful of games of five, uh, above 500 not too long ago, and it's just been trash. It, like, it's just been so terrible these last handful of games. And it's all the teams do is get to the bullpen. That's all their job is to do is get to the bullpen. Even Chapman can't win a damn game now. You know, he's like walking people while pitching, plunking people. It's like, what the just, hell's just going on? But you yep. guys got Baldy pitching tomorrow against Valdez. Wednesday's the game to watch. Wednesday yeah. night, Scherzer versus Verlander. I mean, that's that's the game right there. That's I wish it was a day game because we could probably squeeze in maybe getting out to the day game for pretty cheap, you know, with it being a Wednesday afternoon and still be able to do the show, you know, Wednesday night. But a Wednesday night game, well, we ain't going to – and then we're not even going to get to watch it. Like, Yeah, we'll have to put on the big inning. Uh, I'm almost done. Are you ready to slam this? I, I, I can definitely slam it. Let's talk about this beer real quick because we definitely want to give this beer its due. We've been talking a lot of Rangers, but – no label slash Denton County Brewing beer winer wise, uh, long time coming. Uh, a mango orange mango. Is that what mm. it is? Mango orange. It, this is really good. Like, I almost wouldn't know it's a beer by drinking it. Right? It's very citrusy, nice and fruity. Uh, doesn't not high. In, it's only five point one percent alcohol by volume, which can definitely get you in trouble if you're sitting there knocking back these for sure. Um, Almost like a mimosa vibe. Yeah, I think you so. Know? Yeah. Definitely like a mimosa vibe to it. Um, really good, smooth. I've been talking a lot, but I mean, I'm getting ready to just slam this. Take it down to Pound Town. But yeah, it's a uh, it. When I was pouring it, it this is how it looks. It just has that, you know, it's not clear or anything like that. It's it looks pour. like a mimosa. It really yeah. does. Yeah. Um. And it's not super sour for a beer liner wise, right? That's typically a sour type beer. It's got a little bit of sourness on, on the end, but overall, it's not really sour. Uh, I'm not a guy who likes sours, but I like this beer. I definitely like this. I do enjoy it. I can see why TJ really enjoys this beer. Um, but yeah, pretty damn good. Cheers, Mazel Mazel, good things. Let me finish it off. Yeah. Uh, TJ, again, thanks so much for uh, getting this beer to us. I mean, he had delivered. He was dying to get the get us a beer, and it's really good. It makes the, wild, or the mouth water. You know what I mean? It's like uh, it does. It does. Uh -huh. salivate a little bit. A little bit. A little, little salivation going on here. But yeah. but I'd love to have it off the tap. We've had this beer in our possession for a couple weeks now. Um, we just hadn't got around to it. It's been a, a busy, busy August. September is showing itself to be absolutely outrageous as well, so... But uh, yeah, no. Cheers to them. And uh, any final thoughts on this one? Uh, stop what you're doing and go and get it right now. Go to Denton County Brewing or No Label Brewing. You could probably get it either one, and um, get it and enjoy it. Tell them Strikeout Beer sent you, so they'll look at you like, huh, what, huh, huh? okay. Is that it? You still going? Okay. They're gonna pat you on the head. It's okay, little buddy. Oh God. <laughs> but yeah, no, go get you some. It's really good. TJ, thanks so much for getting this beer for us, brother. And everyone, say a prayer for, for your friends that are Texas Ranger fans and everybody in Texas because they're not doing well. They're not. not. Great. It's it, and Astro fans are relentless. They are so but hey, you got the Cowboys season starting if you're a Texas fan, like a so they can then disappoint you. Yeah, they put the Giants week one. They're in New York, but yeah, no, they'll be. Okay. No, they're going to lose week one, so that's going to be great. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but hey, guys, thank you so much for watching. As always, I'm Alan. Wrap it, Dave. We'll talk to you guys later. Tonight in Arkansas, there's a mother tucking in her daughter and turning off the light. A business owner is burning the midnight oil. An at-home dinner date is plating up possibility. And it's all happening under one roof. How? The power of a conversation. Like the one John from Integrity Solutions had with First Horizon Bank about his vision for a sustainable mixed-use building. Now it's not just words. It's life. 
First Horizon Bank, let's find a way. Go to firsthorizon.com slash John. First Horizon Bank, member FDIC.